In this video, I'm going to talk about RSA digital signatures. Um, so for RSA in general, um, M is the message, P and Q are large primes, N is P times Q, the modulus, E is the public exponent, and D is the private exponent, which equals E inverse mod 5N where 5n is uh, p minus 1 times q minus 1. Um, so when we want to send something digitally signed by RSA, what we send is in the form m comma y, where m is the message. Remember the idea when you're doing digital signatures is not to hide the message, so much as to um, make sure the message actually came from the person that you think it came from. So remember, the message is public. So that's not an issue in this case. So M the message and Y is the signature. And Y is equal to M to the D. Okay, so recall that N and E are always public for RSA. E is the public encryption exponent. Um, and in this case, M and Y are also public because that's what we're sending. The private is the P, Q, and D. D the decryption exponent. So only the person who is sending the message has this private D. To verify that this is, that this came from the person you think it came from, we also have to note the property that um, D times E equals one. So we have y equals m to the d. We don't know what d is, we do know what m is, but uh, we also have e, so we have this value and this value. So if we take m times d to the e, we know that d times, excuse me, m to the d e, that will equal m to the 1 because d times e equals 1 which is just the same thing as M, the message. So, in order to um, check that this is correct, what we want to check is Y to the E, which is the same thing as M to the D E, and find out, does it equal to one? I mean, does it equal to one? Does it equal to M? If Y, which we received as part of the message, to the E, the public encryption exponent equals m mod n, then the signature is considered valid.